This pistol will make your grinding of schematics inside of tier 3 just so much easier. It is a hidden gem in my opinion. A lot of people will obviously recommend for you to use the best weapons, that being the tiers and the swarm SMGs. But these Renettis that I'm using a special like battle pass blueprint on them right now that looks pretty sick are just Beasts. The only thing that I did change up was added a trigger action, which is the Bruin MG89 trigger. This is just essentially a cosmetic change, so you can take all these attachments that I have on right now and use them as well. And this is just ridiculously good. So I'm going to hop in, we're going to run around. The luck base on my schematics has been pretty bad recently, so hopefully, fingers crossed, in today's video, we at least get one schematic. I'm still on the hunt for one more, that being the Pack a Punch number two schematic so uh, hopefully I get it anyway ladies and gentlemen enjoy the rest of the video definitely 100% hop in and test this thing out it is just as good as the other two weapons that are considered to be the best inside of the game dare I say it is my favorite one to use as much as I love the others this one is just way more fun to use as always a like would be extremely appreciated likes always help out the YouTube video to spread out to more people and overall the channel itself also if you do by any chance want to definitely be sure to subscribe run the goal to hitting 50,000 subscribers and we kind of test out almost daily weapons inside of tier three so if you have any weapon recommendations comment them down below and lastly we have a discord server link down description if you want any extra help to go and grind schematics inside of tier three because it is way easier to do it with more than one person thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of this video and here we are off to tier three from the skies we're gonna go for a bounty first just to see whatever we get if these bad boys right here are really good to take down whatever it is that we're gonna go up against but before we do that we gotta test it out on some zombies so here's our first target and just like that uh okay well there's a brain rod zombie these pistols I think are my favorite I love using them whenever I was grinding for the camos or even in a video for some levels these are just beasts and from my knowledge not many people talk about them and i just don't really understand why it makes life so much easier and i'm using the really cool blueprint that is right now in season one's battle pass where they glow and i gotta give it to sledgehammer they glow through the pack a punch camera and whatever camels you put on i think that is so incredibly cool also the reload speed on these bad boys with speed cola is just so good but just like that i took out that whole horde not a problem Hopefully we get so oh self revive. I will take the extra self revive. Hopefully, ooh, another chest. Oh my god. But hopefully, what I'm trying to say is we get a mega abomination. Okay. You know, nothing too crazy, but I'll, I'll go up against it. We shall see if this bad boy is any good. We do have brain rot on our pistols. Again, I will always recommend this in every single one of my videos. Use the brain rot ammo mod and elemental pop inside of tier three. What is this? The Lackman? Well, what are these crazy bills I'm finding in such small chests? or at least rarity wise. But we will be dealing extra damage on Mega Abomination and Mimics because of the Brain Rod itself. This thing is just mm, easiest thing in the world to just go through these zombies. And there we go, Brain Rod. But here we go, we have our first Mega Abomination. And it's kind of neat because each time I do these tests, we kind of go up against the Megas at, at the beginning. So it's kind of nice to be going up against one straight off the bat. Oof, I do not want to go down to its lasers. Hopefully we don't die to other dogs. I genuinely despise these. But there we go. Let's take these zombies out. And we're actually dealing some pretty solid damage on the Mega Abomination. This thing is just a beast, I guess, all around. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Charge, attack, and back at it. There we go. There's one mouth. This just makes life surprisingly a bit too easy at times. Mega Abomination is going to be doing the exact same attack over and over until it gets bored. I genuinely kind of hate that. We might go down, ladies and gentlemen. This might be it. There we go. Yep. Ah, uh, that was a pretty bad situation we were in. Trust me, it's not the pistol's fault. <laughs> I am just a bad player. But we kind of already know that already if you've seen my videos. Anyway, back to it. Hopefully we don't get into a situation where... There we go. There's another head. Get gang attacked by a bunch of zombies. Uh, hopefully there's some ammo around the place. I see armor plates. There's some armor. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, no. How the hell did I get out of that one? <laughs> that was a bit of a risky one, but there we go. Clearing out some more zombies. Oh, is it actually going to do the attack again because it messed up? That's interesting. Go. Some more damage. We're going to jump. 
Are you actually serious? Whoa. Well, that was interesting. Uh... I don't know what the hell is happening right now with this run, but we're gonna try to deal as much damage on this mega abomination from the ground. This video is starting off to a very interesting beginning, but there we go. We're slightly destroying it. Come on. There we go. See, the health is bugged out. Anyway, if we just... Oh, that's amazing. Two self-revives. If we ignore those awful two downs, which I will be honest... I, I'm not the greatest player. This thing is actually ridiculously overpowered. You just have to get into the flow of the situation. I want to cancel this one. There we go. I guess we could go do a spore contract. We have the two different ones. Spore contracts can be very overwhelming with zombies. So it's going to be interesting to fully test out this pistol and its capabilities in that scenario. Now, my claim of this being... I dare say the top three most powerful weapons inside of the game doesn't mean that it will not like still have issues. So for example, me going down doesn't determine if this weapon is good or bad. It was still destroying the mega abomination. It just does depend on the player. And at the end of the day, I don't think there's any weapon inside of this game that will give you infinite health, infinite ability to not die. So if you want to assume that, oh, you went down with this weapon, it must not be that good. Then I guess that's fair, but not really. I might even go down multiple times in this. If you've ever run around tier three, it is is a very complicated and frustrating place to run around sometimes you can get overwhelmed there's just constant zombie spawns like right now i'm being destroyed by two dogs and zombies and another zombie pulls up and they're all just coming from all corners specifically because this is the spore contract i have a megaton who's shooting blasts at me i have a glitch on my screen that oh there we go we got rid of it's just there's always so much happening you can only keep up so much and unless you're a very good player it's okay to go down sometimes. Mangler, where are you? There you are. Clear out the zombie. Dodge your explosion. And go for you. Let's go. Let's see how easy it is to take you down. Okay. We're dealing some solid damage. Let's try to go for your cannon, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reload. Ha! Reloading is ridiculously fast. Okay. Maybe I won't be able to go for his cannon, so let's go for his head. If you don't know, he has two weak spots. His cannon and his head. If you destroy his cannon, it's kind of just obviously easier because he never deals with you but oh my god the boss's one is really difficult to take one down okay don't want to go down hey ridiculous sprinters relax all these zombies that ganged up around him protecting him there we go that was actually pretty easy if i didn't concentrate on the like cannon which for some odd reason was a bit too difficult to destroy ooh, i probably would have been able to destroy it a mega abomination spawned in here okay Uh oh, uh oh. Ah, come on. I couldn't activate my field upgrade and I got into a sticky situation. Can I not activate? No way, I can. What the hell happened there? Anyway, I guess that's a bit ironic. I was talking about, oh my god, it's an easy experience. I barely went down. But again, if you get in stupid situations, like I am all of a sudden, relax. Why? Why now? Why now? Relax. <laughs> now, this weapon won't be. I guess making your luck of getting that rare schematic more instead it will just make it what the hell did i do there instead it will just let you get through tier three easier which is what you basically want constantly running around complete the same contracts over and over to get those schematics and apart from the beginning where it was a bit challenging uh oh and maybe now uh Excuse me, I didn't know there was a dog behind me. And earlier, that little mistake with the Spores contract, these pistols are incredible. I love using them, they're so much fun. Easy to take down zombies at close range from a distance. Obviously, it'll be difficult, but you get close up, just a few shots, they're dead. So, I really, really do recommend this for you. I'm going to, I guess, do one or two more contracts. There's no more reason for me to run around with these. They take down bosses relatively easy. If you have a sudden horde of zombies on you, they will be easy enough to take down that horde of zombies unless you get absolutely surrounded all around you. At the end of the day, it is tier 3. It is a very... Oh, uh, yep, 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 yep. Like, what was that? I didn't even hear him. Why am I not hearing these zombies? It is going to be, no matter what, just a chaotic, 
intense experience. So remember, join our Discord server if you potentially want to find a group of people to run around together to get these schematics or just, you know, farm some stuff inside of tier 3 because it is pretty good to get, I guess, crystals, perks, self reses anything like that if you ever want to prepare for anything. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, definitely be sure to subscribe. We are testing out weapons non-stop inside of tier 3 just to see what's good, what's not. So if you have a recommendation, definitely be sure to comment down below. I would love to test it out. And also, go use this thing inside of tier 3 because it is a beast. A beast. Like, seriously, it is a beast. It makes your life easy. It is easy to run around. Anyway, enough just prolonging this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'm just gonna take this down. There we go. Peace out. Oh! Well, just after I end the video, I got a schematic. I already have it. But it is one of the more difficult ones for me to find. Elemental pop. That's, that's at least reassuring. You can still find them.